Sonos Arc, Best Dolby Atmos Soundbar Sonos is famous for its soundbars, and Arc is their first soundbar fully compatible with Dolby Atmos. This premium soundbar stands out for its gorgeous curved design and is the perfect centerpiece for your living room. It features touch-sensitive buttons, and status LEDs, that activate when you're using voice commands via Alexa and Google Assistant, that are built into the soundbar. Connectivity includes AirPlay 2, Ethernet, and EARC for Dolby Atmos. The Sonos Arc uses 11 speakers, many of which point upwards or to the sides, in order to bounce sound off the walls and ceiling. All this creates one of the most compelling Atmos 3D performance you can get from a soundbar. While all this might seem complicated, its setup couldn't be simpler, it requires only a couple of steps using the smartphone app. Thanks to the company's true play technology, Arc is able to automatically tune into any room, and give you the sharpest and most accurate audio possible. The Sonos Arc also makes use of Dolby's latest True HD and Dolby Digital Plus audio codecs, to deliver the best audio quality available on Blu-ray discs and some of the major streaming services. And it's also well-balanced tonally if you simply want to listen to music. If you have a large lounge and a fat wallet, the Sonos Arc is the best premium soundbar with Dolby Atmos. Sennheiser Ambio, excellent sound but at a steep price. The Sennheiser Ambio is larger and heavier than the Samsung HWQ90R, but can be set up and connected in no time. All connections are well hidden in a recess at the back of the soundbar, so they can become almost invisible. The soundbar accepts all possible signals, and it can also connect to your mobile device via Bluetooth and NFC. With the Smart Control app, you can control everything conveniently via your smartphone, and the app is available for both Android and iOS. The sound of the Sennheiser Ambio is simply overwhelming. All channels, even the rear and above ones, which work by bouncing the sound to the walls and ceiling, arrive at your ears in a very clearly defined manner. The Ambio does a great job here, but it cannot match the separate subwoofer and satellite rear speakers of the HWQ90R. Still, the Sennheiser Ambio is the ideal soundbar for someone who wants quality surround sound, but in a single device. The price is very high, but considering the built-in sound quality, and all the bells and whistles it comes with, we cannot say that it doesn't worth it. Sonos Beam, the best soundbar for most people. After the success of the Playbar, Sonos launched a more affordable and compact soundbar, the Beam. It is much more compact and also lighter, it is available in black and white, and it looks as elegant as the other speakers of the brand. The Beam integrates four full-range transducers, a tweeter, and three passive radiators, plus five Class D amplifiers. The transducers and radiators point towards the front and sides of the soundbar, which helps produce a more enveloping sound. The beam sounds incredibly good, especially considering its size. The spatiality and richness offered by this compact soundbar are surprising. The dialogues are also clear and very direct. This isn't your typical soundbar, it also doubles as a wireless multi-room speaker, that can play music from any type of source. You can also synchronize it with any other Sono speaker, to play the same music in different places in the house. It also has an integrated personal assistant and five microphones, that allow you to use voice control from anywhere in the room, and even when the soundbar plays music or movies. The Sonos Beam is the ideal option for anyone who wants a truly intelligent soundbar. Yamaha Yas 209, Best Midrange Soundbar The Yamaha Yas 209 tries to upgrade the excellent Yas 207. This is also a budget-conscious option, thus it cuts some corners. For example, there is only one HDMI input available, but it also has both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. On the other hand, it can work with most streaming services, and the soundbar can be integrated into a music cast multi-room system. It also has Alexa built-in. The sound is excellent, and the different modes cover all possible scenarios. The separate subwoofer helps a lot with that, and unless you have a really big room, the resulting sound quality is great, and the volume more than enough. Polk Audio React, best soundbar with Amazon Alexa. The Polk Audio React is the successor to one of my favorite smart soundbars, the Command Bar, the first soundbar with Amazon Alexa on board, and offers an interesting mix of features and performance. It boasts excellent sound quality, with rich detailed sound for the most part, and an extremely large soundstage, that delivers great surround effects without sacrificing the clarity of dialogue or the refinement of a beautiful soundtrack. In particular, 
Polk Audio's voice adjust is one of the best dialogue enhancement systems, and is put to good use on this soundbar. It may not offer compatibility with DTS-X or eARC, but at this price, the sound is so good that you might not feel the need. It doesn't have a subwoofer, but you can always buy one, and the same goes for surround speakers that can be paired wirelessly. Overall, it will be a tad more expensive than an all-in-one system, but this way you can buy each individual piece when you have the money. The remote puts virtually anything you want at your fingertips with clearly labeled buttons. Do you prefer to let Amazon Alexa take care of the adjustments? Say what you need. Alexa is so deeply integrated into the React, that you will find Amazon Echo's dashboard built in at the top of the device. In conclusion, if you don't have the money to buy a complete audio surround system, the Polk Audio React is a pretty cool and fairly affordable soundbar. Sony HTX8500, Best Cheap Dolby Atmos Soundbar Many users want immersive audio coming out of their TV but don't have enough space for a dedicated subwoofer and surround speakers. It was with this in mind that Sony created the HTX8500. This is a single soundbar with a simple stereo setup and a built-in subwoofer, offering impressive bass, capable of bouncing the side and height channels off the room's walls. Sony's digital processing claims to replicate a Dolby Atmos 7.1.2 surround system. The result isn't as good as having dedicated speakers placed behind or above you, but for the price, Sony's audio processing adds a lot of directionality to the sound, which gives movies and TV shows a tad more audio magic. The build quality and design are as always exceptional. However, to keep the price low, Sony saved on extra features and connectivity options. That being said, most people really care about how great the HTX8500 sound is, few soundbars at this price offer such a focus on cinematic sound. The secret to its spectacular performance lies in Sony's proprietary vertical sound engine, which, when reproducing Dolby Atmos and DTS-X content, creates the convincing illusion of an enveloping sound that allows movies to produce a clear sense of audio height and width. The sound seems to be coming out from the entire area in front of you, rather than coming out from the little soundbar. And since rival Dolby Atmos compatible soundbars typically cost twice as much, the Sony HTX8500 is an easy recommendation, and without a doubt the best cheap Dolby Atmos soundbar. All in all, if you want a soundbar that produces a much more cinematic sound than your TV's speakers, and one that is compatible with Dolby Atmos but without spending an arm and a leg, the Sony HTX8500 is the best one you can buy. JBL Bar 2.1 Deep Bass, Best $300 Soundbar If all you want is to improve the way your TV sounds, then the JBL Bar 2.1 Deep Bass is the ideal solution. Connect it and turn it on and you'll immediately experience a dramatic improvement in audio quality thanks to the deeper richer sounds and much cleaner sharper dialogues. Although this is just a 2.1 channel soundbar, that doesn't offer much in terms of extra functionalities, the thing that sets it apart is also the most important, audio quality. This soundbar is also equipped with a subwoofer that produces really deep bass, thus adding a feel of true dynamism. If you want a home cinema setup, this is one of the most convenient ways to create one. Vizio SB36 512F6, Best Cheap Sound System the Vizio SB36 512F6 shows that you don't need to spend a lot of money to get a quality 5.1.2 sound system that can handle the latest Dolby Atmos soundtracks. If you're a competitive gamer, you understand the importance of hearing an opponent creeping behind you. This budget Vizio soundbar helps you notice every step in the real physical space. And Dolby Atmos extends the soundstage upwards, making the audio coming out of your TV truly 3D. It can't get as loud and doesn't feel as premium as the Samsung HWQ90R, but it provides great performance for the price. It also has Google Chromecast built in, so you can stream music from any Chromecast-enabled app, such as Spotify and Google Play. If you want a great sound system, without spending much, get the Vizio SB36 512F6. Yamaha Yas 207, Best Bang for Your Buck The Yamaha Yas 207 uses the new DTS Virtual X codec to recreate 7.1.4 channel virtual surround sound. This technology is designed so that anyone can enjoy the enveloping effects of a blockbuster movie with just a soundbar. It is a model that offers a great combination of performance and practicality. Yamaha has a lot of experience designing soundbars, and the Yas 207 benefits from this. The soundbar has a sober design with an elegant black finish. It also comes with a slim external wireless subwoofer, 
and a simple and easy to use remote control. The Yas 207 produces a quite decent surround sound. It cannot perform miracles, and therefore cannot match a complete home cinema system, but its virtual surround sound technology is very effective, and definitely exceeds the sound spatiality of any model in this price range. You don't really need to activate the surround mode for everyday watching, since the stereo mode also offers great balance and directionality. In addition, you can experiment with seven different sound modes via the Yamaha HT controller application. This soundbar also offers good dynamism and clarity when listening to music. The high frequencies do not offer the sublime details of more expensive soundbars, but this is all the negative things we can say about this device. If you want the best bang for your buck, get the Yamaha Yas 207. Samsung HWQ90R, Best Sound System Samsung is not very recognized in the audio department, and yet its high-end 2019 HWQ90R soundbar, designed by its subsidiary Harman Kardon, is simply brilliant. It offers high-quality rich and powerful sound, impressive 3D spatialization, and many extra features. Beating everything that the competition has to offer, including Sennheiser's MBO soundbar, it has become the new benchmark on the market, even if its price is sky-high. The HWQ90R is the successor of the equally capable HWK950 and HWN950, and we aren't sure we can classify it as a soundbar, since it is accompanied by a wireless subwoofer and two surround speakers. Compatible with both audio formats that will mark the future of cinema sound, Dolby Atmos and DTSX, the sound quality of this device is simply amazing, offering a spectacular and unsurpassed surround effect by any other soundbar and it handles music equally well, with a sound reproduction that can be described as high fidelity. The soundbar offers several HDMI ports, it is compatible with 4K, HDR10, and Dolby Vision, it has HDMI IRC support, and Wi-Fi and Bluetooth wireless connectivity. Considering that it costs less than last year's HWN950 model, it is a must-buy in 2019, if you want the most complete soundbar system, and the one with the best possible sound. Sonos Playbar, for music lovers. Although the Playbar has existed for a long time, it is still one of our favorite models on the market. It was the company's first attempt to achieve that much desired home cinema effect. With one amplifier for each of its nine drivers, you can expect exceptional sound quality, regardless of whether you're watching or listening. The bass response is powerful, clear and blunt, even without the help of an external subwoofer. It does not have an HDMI connection, but only an optical audio input, so make sure that your TV has an optical output before purchasing. Although it is very expensive, its quality is worth it.